These little wormy things right here are wood boring beetle larva. In today's video, we are going to be taking a closer look into a wood boring beetle infestation. I'm going to show you how you can determine if these little insects are eating the wood inside of your home. Oh baby, that's a big one right there. Look at it. I hope it doesn't bite me. Hey guys, it's Dan the Bugman here back with another video where I am here to help you keep your home as pest free as possible. And one of the most important pests to keep out of your home are pests that damage the structural integrity of your home. And there's actually a lot of those pests. There are termites, most importantly, there are carpenter bees, there are carpenter ants, there are powder post beetles, and the pest that we're going to be talking about in today's video is a wood boring beetle. Now there are a ton of myths and guys I hear everything in the pest control industry about which pests can do this much damage or which pests can do that much damage. Quite frankly it's disturbing how much misinformation there is about all kinds of pests but luckily for you I am here to tell you the truth and I always tell you the truth and I tell you it in the most simple form that I can get it to you. In today's video we are going to be taking a closer look into a wood boring beetle infestation. These beetles are actually infesting this wood pile next to me which gives me a great opportunity to dissect these beetles and show you exactly what to look for and if you watch this video all the way to the end you're going to know exactly how to inspect your home and know if these wood boring beetles can cause damage to your home so thankfully no these wood boring beetles aren't actually infesting my home but they are doing a pretty good number to this large pile of wood right here this is my firewood and they are absolutely destroying it wood boring beetles are incredibly misunderstood pests in fact when i google this picture of termites wood boring beetle damage comes up in place of termite damage guys this is not termite damage this is wood boring beetle damage. Wood boring beetles create this very unique burrowing pattern. As you can see on this piece of wood here, they make these meandering little tunnels through the first couple layers of the wood. And these beetles really can cause some pretty significant damage to pieces of wood like this. So I'm gonna go ahead and break open some of these pieces of wood. I'm going to show you the beetle larvae that are damaged. Oh my God. Guys, I just found something else crazy. Gosh, I think these are, uh, God, I don't know what those are, guys. Look at these bugs I just found. I think they might be assassin bugs uh, making sweet love to create more buggies. Yeah, I'm gonna research these because I don't know what those are and they're pretty cool looking. They were on that wood pile. So, sorry buggies, I'm gonna just throw them over here. So, let's go ahead and break open some of these pieces of wood and I'm gonna show you guys exactly how these wood boring beetle larvae are destroying these pieces of wood. Some of these pieces, they are definitely infesting more than others. So see those openings right there? That's from the wood boring beetle. And see those down there, that's wood boring beetle. But some of these don't have any holes in them. So I'm gonna try to find one that the beetles are definitely infesting. And you can see it's an active infestation because of all of this frass right here. That's a ton of frass. That's the little particles that the beetles the larva poop out. Yeah, I'm gonna grab this one right here. This one looks like a good candidate. Hopefully the wood pile doesn't just fall everywhere. Okay. We're gonna chop this open and I'm gonna show you the beetle larva inside here. So all beetle species go through what is called complete metamorphosis. That means the beetles go through four distinct stages in their lifetime. They start out as eggs, and then they hatch into a larva stage. This larva stage looks completely different from the adult beetle stage. In almost every case, the beetle larva stage just looks like a little worm. Then the larva pupate and go through a transition phase. And the final stage in the beetle life cycle is what most people envision when they think of a beetle. I'm gonna go ahead and pop up on the screen what an adult wood boring beetle looks like and they look pretty bland, just a normal beetle, if you ask me. They're pretty, pretty normal looking beetles. What we're finding in this wood today is not going to be the final stage of the beetle. It's actually the larva stage, the little worms that cause all the damage. I'm just gonna peel out the first layer of bark on the outside of this wood. And you can already see the damage that these beetle larvae have caused. And hopefully, we can find a live beetle to show you. Oh my God, there's one guys. Can't believe it's causing that much damage. All right, come get a closer look at this. It's actually super tiny. Look at it wiggling there. Look at it. 
There it is, guys. I got two of them out of here so far. Now there are hundreds and thousands of wood boring beetle species across the globe, but these specific ones, I don't know the exact species, but I do know they belong to the family of wood boring beetles called long horned beetles. They're called long horned beetles because almost all species in this family, there are about 35,000 species of long horned beetle in the wood boring beetle family, but they all have extremely long antenna. So that's why these beetles are called long horned beetles. It doesn't look like they're gonna be beetles now, but these little worms are gonna turn into beetles and they have legs and antennas, but they're just in the larva stage right now. So how these worms actually get into this piece of wood is that the adults come by and they find, they smell it, freshly dead wood and they lay their eggs on the surface of this wood. And in just a few days, the eggs hatch. And once the eggs start hatching, they begin burrowing into the wood. And that is all these little tunnels and lines you're seeing here, guys. At some point, they'll start to make these holes where they go into the wood. The larva of these beetles, these little worm things, have huge, incredibly powerful jaws. If you look at the head of that larva compared to the size of the beetle, the head is almost twice as wide as the little rest of the larva's body is. Its head is so big because it has very strong jaw muscles to help break up those wood fibers. Now for the most part, these beetles do like to stay on the outside layers of pieces of wood like that. There's more nutrients in the wood for them to eat. But as you can see, they definitely have no problem going deep into the wood like there. And guys, when the, when the adult beetles are searching for wood to feed on, they actually prefer to find the freshest wood possible. The longer wood has been dead, the fewer amount of nutrients that are left in the wood. But that doesn't mean the beetles can't survive if the piece of wood is old. That just means they're gonna need more time to feed and it just means they're gonna cause more damage to the piece of wood. Oh, I found another one right there. That's number three. And if you look at all the damage they've caused, I mean, look at all these tunnels that they've made. For only five beetle larvae, that's actually pretty dang impressive. They can stay in a piece of wood like this for as few as two years, but as long as 10 years, guys. So as the larvae are slowly burrowing through the wood, once they digest it, they don't eat all of the wood. They actually poop out some little particles and leave behind. And that's actually how I was able to discover that this wood pile was infested. That's because they were leaving all of this sawdust around this pile of wood. And if you look at this stuff here, the wood was absolutely covered with it. All these little dots of sawdust, that's called frass. Frass is just little pieces of wood that insects poop out after they have digested the wood. One of them actually pooped out frass, the little wood particles that they chew up and poop out. And that's what's been falling all over the ground next to the wood pile. Probably that one, that wiggly guy. So by now I'm sure you're wondering, what does all of this mean um, for a homeowner that is maybe concerned that they have powder post beetles? The short answer is, there's a very, very high chance that you don't and will never have wood boring beetles infest the structure of your home. It's all thanks to modern technology. Wood that's harvested for lumber to build on houses doesn't just get thrown in a pile like this. Once wood is harvested, it is dried in a very hot heater and treated with different preserving chemicals. And that treatment will eliminate any insect infestation like wood boring beetles, like powder post beetles, like carpenter ants from the pieces of wood. And then, and only then, after wood is treated, will be shipped to the construction company that will then start to build it into your home. So that means if everything is done correctly, there is a very, very high probability that wood boring beetles will not infest your home. But every once in a while, guys, wood boring beetles can make it through a treatment process. And sometimes, very rarely, they can infest homes after they've been built. Both of these cases are very rare, but it does happen every once in a while. If you think you may have a wood boring beetle infestation in your home, go ahead and do a thorough inspection. And after the inspection, if you see things like frass, if you see those tunneling marks that these beetle larvae make into the wood, then go ahead and call 
a pest control company, and they can recommend a treatment option. Sometimes though, the, the best treatment is to just cut out the wood that they're infesting and replace it with good wood. Sometimes you need to actually use an insecticide and treat the wood to get the larva out. The main places that these beetles would really be able to infest is almost always in the crawl space of a home. The wood in a crawl space is somewhat exposed compared to the, the wood in other areas of your home. So if you get a couple of wood boring beetles that lay eggs on the wood in your crawl space in your house, then they could potentially turn into an infestation, but it is very, very rare. And I have actually never seen an active infestation in my four years in the pest control industry. So that's definitely saying something. So hopefully wood boring beetles never become an issue for you. And there's a good chance that they never will. But I saw this as a great teaching opportunity and a great video idea. And I wanted to share this with you guys because I thought it was really cool. I was actually very interested a few months ago when I found that these beetles were infesting this wood pile behind me. I just started planning this video. I'm not really gonna do anything guys. I'm just gonna let these beetles keep on munching away. Um, it's gonna start getting cold here in a few weeks and I'm gonna use this as firewood and that will definitely just kill off the beetle population, uh, unfortunately for them. And it was a really interesting infestation of us insect species that gets a bad reputation in the pest control industry. And wood-borne beetles, their role in nature is actually very important. Any tree that falls over, you know, wood is pretty darn strong and these beetles are able to break it down and able to compost it down into these little dust particles that turn into soil that other trees and other plants and animals can use the nutrients from that. Wood-borne beetles are a very important species as almost all insects are, except for mosquitoes and bed bugs. I just hate them and I don't know why they exist. If you have any questions about what you saw, please just shoot me a comment. I try to answer all my comments on these long videos like this. And thank you guys for watching and I will see you next time.